What's going on everybody? It's Brian and in this video I'll be showing you iOS 5.0 beta 1 on an iPad 2. But more specifically I'm going to be focusing on the notifications. So here is the lock screen. I actually just posted a tweet on Twitter so that people could send me some messages via the new iMessages application. And here they are. So whenever you do get a notification of some sort, whether it be a SMS, a new email, or a push not notification from something like Boxcar, they're going to show up on your lock screen here. Tapping on them actually doesn't do anything, but you are able to slide on an icon, and it will actually take you straight to the application that you were that all of this is involved in. If you slide down on your status bar or at the top of your screen, no matter what app you're in, it will bring down the notification center. That's what Apple calls it. And this is basically where all of your notifications are stored until you go and read them. If you tap on this little X, that will actually clear all of them out, like so. So let's say you're in a game like Pinball HD and you want to check your notification center. All you have to do is slide down on the uh, on the top of your screen let me uh, rotate my iPad this way um, let me find a different app this is a bad example so for instance if I am in oh if I am in uh, I need to find a full screen app so let's say I'm in iSwifter and I swipe down on the top of your screen you'll also get access to uh, you'll also get access to your notification center. So it doesn't matter what app you're in, whether you're in a full screen app where you don't get your status bar, you'll still be able to slide down on it to get access to your notification center here. So when Apple first showed off uh, notification center from during their keynote, I immediately thought of lock info for jailbroken I iOS devices. So it looks a lot like info and it behaves similarly as well. Now, if you're on an iPhone, you do get your stock and weather widgets, which I will actually show you in a separate video. So that's it with this one. Once again, that is notifications on the iPad 2 with iOS Beta 5. Really nice the way they did it in iOS 5. It's about time that they changed it. Although I was never really, I never really had any issues with the original notification system, but it is nice what Apple did with this one. Of course, they did hire jailbreak developer Peter Hages. I think that's how he pronounced his last name, but. Um, I mean, he worked on Mobile Notifier, which was available in Cydia. Apple pretty much hired him to do the notification system for iOS, so that's where it came from right there. But anyway, that's it with this video. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, or video requests for iOS 5, let me know in the comments down below. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you all soon.